All right. Uh, All right welcome back on. to you get you okay. get the song tonight. Yep, 1979 podcast. Keep following us on uh, whether the website, Glenn. Give up what's the website called? And how, just uh, don't give out the URL. Just give us a way to find the website just by googling. Okay. It. Uh, what you can do is you can Google, uh, podcast, uh, SP 1979. Also, there's a, a link on our YouTube channel, uh, that I posted. So just click on that and then you can go to our website. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I think, I don't know. I made it just using Google sites and, uh, <laughs> all of all, it, it is, uh, it is pretty nice to, uh, be able to, you know, check out all of, uh, all the uh, content that we're going to be adding uh, here soon, uh, yep, all of these stuff will be going king. to that website. Right. And, Glenn, do, do we also have a Gmail account? Uh, yes, we have a Gmail account. You can uh, find that on the website under contact information. Um, our email is podcastsp1979 at gmail.com. Uh, you all can right. email us with suggestions or anything like that. Or we're doing a new thing. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, voicing comments. So uh, here's the thing: you you turn on your little recorder on your iPod or on your on your uh, computer. You talk into your opinion, and we'll be putting up opinions on the site as we get going. Uh, then we'll just throw it up on our website. We may even use it in our podcast as well. But hey, if you want to talk about uh, your stuff. Hey, just record it yourself for five minutes talking. We'll uh, link to it on our site as well. Right, Glenn? Absolutely. No problem. All right. So uh, the the song for today is actually not a song at all. It is a uh, album cover review. The album cover that we're talking about today is probably one of the most uh, iconic of the Smashing Pumpkins, and that is Siamese Green, the two little girls cool. eating the... Uh, uh, ice cream cone or whatever it is on the, or it's a freezy pop or something like that. Now, a lot of the rumors <laughs> went around that saying Nicole Florentino, and I'm never going to say her late name, last name right, and uh, you can uh, crucify me for not knowing the true last name of uh, the band, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> big rumor was saying that she was, um, that she was one of the little girls, and like, that was just for publicity, and I didn't buy that for one second, but uh, what do you think about the album cover? I think that it, it, it's awesome. It's, uh, uh, like I said, iconic. It's defined. It, it just, it was huge. Uh, that, and if you watch, uh, many episodes of Home Improvement, uh, the Taylor boys, Randy and, um, Brad in their room, they have, uh, I, don't know, I think maybe Mark was in the room as well. But anyway, in their room, the Siamese Ring poster is up behind the door. So that's another spot where you can see it on Home Improvement earlier episodes. Great album cover. It's uh, very, very punk, very grunge. Doesn't really have anything to do with, uh, I don't think, any of the songs. Maybe, I think the only part that, uh, I mean, obviously in Geek USA, when the the title of the album is said, Siamese, you know, in, in a dream we are connected, Siamese twins at a, at the uh, at the wrist or Right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, in a dream, we are connected. Siamese twins. I've never, I, were those girls supposed to be Siamese twins? I don't think so because they weren't I don't think, connected. No. I don't think any on, on, on the body. And on, no, and on the back of the CD, you see them standing up and they're not, they're not connected. Um, so yeah. what, what is Siamese? Uh, I mean, I guess we'll have to uh, just say that it's a great looking album cover and I think it's probably one of my favorite. Glenn, what do you think? Well I think it uh it was a lot of symbolism. Um it, it for what? I think it was meant to convey uh an emotion of uh innocence before all of uh all of the success that they had. Um <laughs> this was obviously one of the most personal albums uh for, right. for Billy uh you know coming out with today and Disarm today and, and Disarm. Space Boy. Yeah. Um and I, I think, yeah, I think it was just a conveying an image of innocence, uh, kind of a, a childhood lost, almost. Yeah, maybe it's irony. Like, yeah, you see this beautiful, you know, these two cute girls and having a fun time eating uh, their icy. And then, but yeah, then you really kind of dig deeper. And it's like that, it's just, 
being ironic. It's a joke that they're happy when he knows that eventually those two little girls will be very, very sad, like he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. But, uh, yeah, good uh, good point there, Glenn. That's a good innocence lost before they lose it sort of thing. So, uh, all right, well, mm-hmm. then the uh, question of uh, for this podcast would be, if there could be anything else on the 90s Dream cover, uh, what would it be and why? Go. Ooh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a tough question right there. Um, yeah, I would have to say uh, maybe – I'm, I'm not really sure how they could uh, it, it, do it, this. It, it, here's here's the thing. Uh, just like how uh, like how he did. You know, you know, we kind of said that he Billy took the the name Chinese Dream from Geek USA. Well, think of like another kind of lyric part of Geek USA, and then I mean, you have to. And here's the the, the point of the exercise is to take uh, a part of Geek USA and transpose it onto the cover because that's that's how my idea of how he did it because the namesake Siamese Dream comes from Geek USA. Yeah. So maybe like um, um let's see here. She really eh, maybe like some she really loves to break. That's probably the most uh like the hardest part in the song right there. She really loves to break and give it all away. Yeah. Maybe some maybe some uh kind of sticking with this idea of innocence, maybe some girl like like really dressed up some way, like maybe going to a, a prom or something like that. Maybe a prom picture, yeah, yeah. Like with her, with her, you know. Maybe, yeah, maybe she's like really sad or something that like that, like uh, the innocence being lost finally, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, maybe like a prom. Yeah, prom picture. Today is the greatest. It would kind of mix in with that as well. Uh, yeah. You know, and if people have any ideas, just. Uh, Send us that uh, those voice audios and Glenn, where can they send them to? Uh, they can send them to uh, our Gmail account, which is podcast sp nineteen seventy nine at gmail dot com. Uh, send us your your recordings, your suggestions, comments, anything, remarks, criticisms. We don't care. We just like uh, to get uh, some anything. feedback. Anything. Just yeah. Send, send, we're so alone. Just send us. (laughs) That's all right. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, podcast. Bye.